We are zeroing in on campaign 2018. There are only 54 days before Election Day. We have been reporting on the candidates and the issues. Now we want to broaden our commitment to getting you the best possible information to make your decisions come November. Yeah, that's why we're starting the weekly reality check. Sean Boyd sits down with a Republican and a Democrat each Thursday. Sean? Well, joining me, Dick Wadhams, our longtime Republican analyst, and Mike Dino, our Democratic analyst this year. Thanks for joining me, guys. Well, this election cycle, a wild one with 13 ballot measures, a governor's race, and one of the biggest congressional races in the country. Let's start in Congressional District 6. Three million spent on this race in the last month alone. Most of it against incumbent Congressman Mike Kaufman. His Democratic opponent, Jason Crow, vowed not to take money from super PACs, but they're helping him anyway. So, Dick, what does this race come down to? It comes down to whether Mike Kaufman's long record of service to this community, uh, to, the, to the very ethnic communities in, in the district, will, will carry him over like it did the previous two elections. I think it will. Mike has worked very hard. He relates to this district like no other Republican could. Mike, what does Crow have to do that others haven't to win this? Well, I think he's got to just stay on top of the big blue wave. I mean, uh, Dick is right. I agree with him. Mike Kaufman is a hard worker. He relates to the district well, and the Democrats have never found out a way to beat him. But uh, this is a year while so much money is being spent because p the Democrats feel like this is our best chance to take advantage of the situation and how people feel about the president. Uh, and more independents are voting this year in Colorado toward the Democrats, and, uh, and so he's just got to try to surf it. Yeah, it's the most diverse district in the state, so mm -hmm. this one's going to be watched nationally. Let's shift to the governor's race, where Democrat Jared Polis went on the attack this week, blaming his opponent, Walker Stapleton, for making false statements about his taxes, which Stapleton didn't. In fact, Stapleton is getting pressured to release his own tax returns. Is this a big issue, Mike? Well, I don't think it's as big an issue as it once used to be because the president, President Trump, candidate Trump, kind of diminished it. Uh, he got away without having to release his, still hasn't released it. And I think the public's kind of views it, views it as a nothing burger type issue. So um, I think it's a little bit about nothing right now. These guys want to be compared to President Trump? <laughs> Isn't that ironic? <laughs> uh, the, the fact of the matter is, is that it, it, it reveals that the big issues really haven't surfaced yet in this race. And Walker Stapleton has got to move this beyond money and taxes to the real issues of transportation, education, health care. When he does that, I think he can win this thing. Uh, because I think Polis is on such the far left of, of, of most voters that, um, that Walker has a shot to win this thing. So finally, let's look at maybe the most controversial ballot measure, Proposition 112, requiring a 2,500-foot buffer between new oil and gas drilling and occupied structures or vulnerable areas. Stick, what do you think its chances are? Right now, I think, uh, from what I hear on the street, uh, there's a pretty good majority in favor of it. Uh, if the oil and gas industry and, and other community leaders, which are starting to come out against it, if they can make the case that this economy in Colorado will shut down, I think they can defeat it. Uh, this is actually a very dangerous proposition for Democrats, because whoever is elected governor, whoever elects, uh, is elected uh, to the majorities in the legislature, will have to deal with a crisis. This economy will fall apart next year if this passes. So Jared Polis against it, Hickenlooper against it. Mm. I wonder, Mike, how much does that deadly explosion in Firestone play into the vote, do you think? Well, I think this is really a referendum of our economy versus our quality of life. And really, as Coloradoans, we, that is quite a dilemma uh, because we're enjoying a very good economy right now. Uh, but our quality of life is great. And a lot of us who are natives, we've stayed here because of the quality of life. And those who've moved here have moved here for the quality of life and a good job. And so now they've got a real dilemma. What are they going to choose? <laughs> and uh, it's a tough choice. Certainly the proponents uh, or the, are, are, are on the quality of life side in their view. And uh, the oil and gas industry saying, well, listen, your quality of life is tied to your good job. So really pay attention to this and vote against it. Yeah, yeah this will be one to watch. Mm -hmm. Thank you both. We will see you both next week and we'll send it back to you, Jim and Karen. All right, Sean, thanks so much.